We disassembled a building in Geneva. So we went there with LiDAR scanners, with a drone, with our own cameras, our phones, so that we could know what materials were available for reuse. We brought all of the materials to Zurich and we stored them at ETH on campus and built a dome there on campus. Based on this material inventory, we designed a new structure. We applied computational design algorithms so that we could optimize the materials that we had towards the new design. We scanned the wood that we reclaimed because sometimes there are screws or nails that are still in there that you don't see. We had to cut the elements into the right shape based on the algorithm and we had to sand it and make it ready so that it can be used again. Once we have those new elements ready, we wanted to track and trace those elements. So we laser engraved QR codes on the elements. This leads to a database where you can see the dimensions of the elements, the type of wood and so on. So it's really a passport of the material. So in each step of this process, we have digital innovation that really helps us, supports us towards the reuse of building materials on a big scale. The bigger aim of what we do is not just to have fun with digital innovation, but really use it for a purpose. And our purpose is really to lower greenhouse gas emissions, to lower waste generation and to lower resource depletion. So we want to stop the huge amount of resources that are depleted for construction, the huge amount of waste that is generated and of course the, the climate crisis that we are responsible of uh, for a big part in the construction sector. We don't only design for reuse, we don't only make sure that we go and track and trace our materials after they get disassembled, but we also make sure that all of the things that we build are made with reused materials that would otherwise have gone to waste.